Hey folks, this is Mary. Welcome back to my channel. So it is Sunday, which means it is time for swatching Sunday. And I've been getting low on samples. So I've been swatching some bottles that I haven't swatched yet. And these are some new purchases that I've made fairly recently that I wanted to share with you. And I have not swatched any of them yet, so I'm very excited. I heard on Chris Sines' channel a while back that somebody had sent her a sample of a Sitz Kruznock ink. And I was very interested in that, so I started looking into it. And it is a website. I, I guess they're a retailer, an online retailer. I don't know much about them as a retailer, but they seem to sell everything. And they have a writing section, and they sell pens and inks and all kinds of things. So I purchased some Sitz Kruznock inks so this is what the bottle looks like and if you'll notice it looks suspiciously like a pelican bottle um the pelican bottle looks a little bit bigger they're not exactly the same but they are very close and also oh wow okay i was looking at these earlier and I thought one of them said made in Germany. Oh, this one does. Wow, that is so weird. This one says made in Germany. And this one says made in Austria, bottled in Germany. So the ones that said made in Germany, I wondered if they were made by Pelican. I don't know. So I'm not sure who makes these inks, but the bottles are very similar. So, just a little mystery for today. If anyone knows about the the origin of these inks, please please share with the rest of the group. So, and I also thought it might be fun to compare the blue inks with a swatch of this pelican blue to see if in fact it was the same ink. So, we'll get to that in a little while. Alrighty. <clears throat> well, since I've already picked these guys up, I guess I'll just start with those. So I will move these out of the way. Oh, and I'm also using a new camera rig. Um, I bought a part for the other one, and it's working better. But I also got a completely different one, and it works differently. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure about it yet. But this is the first time I'm filming with it, so we're going to see how it goes. So this is Sitz Kruznak Pacific Blue. Ooh. That sounds right up my alley. And let me make sure, let me make sure you guys can see what I'm doing, and also make sure that I can spell Sitz Kruznock correctly. Kruznock. And this is Pacific Blue. And of course there are quite a few other inks that have Pacific in the name. We might all remember best Lamy Pacific Blue, which I believe is Lamy Turquoise. And it's turquoise. It's very bright. And Califolio has some, um, they have inks named after different oceans, different bodies of water. And they have a Bleu Pacifique, which is also kind of a turquoise. So this one seems much darker. So this will be interesting. Ooh, very pretty. Very purpley. Ooh, and my Q-tip is trying to lose its cotton. <clears throat> and we'll get a bit of a drip. Very nice. Very blue. All right, so we will set him aside to dry. But look at that cap. Ooh, isn't that gorgeous? So I do have to say, Sitz Kruznock is a German retailer, and I purchased these from their website. This one is Fancy Diamond. Oh, I guess I should show you the label before I take the cap off. Fancy Diamond, which is looking kind of bluish purple. So I don't know what diamonds are purple, but I don't know that much about diamonds, so who knows. 
But anyway, I purchased these from Sitzkruznach, which is in Germany. And it didn't take them too long to arrive. However, I ordered my Troublemaker inks from another German retailer. Oh, I swear it was, it was years ago that I ordered these inks. I think they're swimming them across the ocean on a raft. I am never going to see my Troublemaker inks. I'm so sad. Oh. So, again, once the inks arrive, you will probably hear me scream wherever you are in the world because I will be screaming that loud. I will be so excited to finally get my hands on some more Troublemaker inks because I love them so much. Now this one, you can see that the nib is really coated in ink, but it does not seem to want to write. And of course my glass nib is, you know, not the best glass nib in the world. Not the, the smoothest writer. But the ink just doesn't want to come off. Hmm. And this is fancy diamond. Hmm. Maybe this should be paired with, uh, oh, who is it? Is it Vinta? Diamonds are a girl's BFF. I don't know. There seem to be a lot of inks named after jewels. But jewels are very beautiful and colorful. Okay. Ooh, and I really soaked this Q-tip. I soaked the Q-tip, but... It is not coming off the Q-tip very easily. It's so weird. The, um, what was it? The Pacific Blue. It was just flowing off of the Q-tip. Yeah, we're not going to get a drip out of this one. My goodness. Dry, dry, dry or whatever quality it is that makes inks not drip. All right, very interesting. All right, next up we have Beaujolais Red. I had to get the one named after a wine because wine is awesome. Although I don't know how I feel about Beaujolais. Beaujolais is a very young wine. It's a young wine made at the harvest and it's okay. Well, Beaujolais Nouveau. I don't know if there's other kinds of Beaujolais. But, um, I don't know. Maybe I haven't had enough of them to form an opinion of them, but not my favorite wine. In case you're wondering, my favorite wine is probably Cabernet Sauvignon or, um, Zinfandel. And I don't mean white Zinfandel. I mean Zinfandel, which is a full-bodied red, like Cabernet Sauvignon. And I need to make sure I spell Beaujolais correctly. Beaujolais. Beaujolais red. And I am not very skilled with this glass nib. I had dinner with some friends and we ordered a bottle of wine and they wanted to get the Cabernet Franc. I like Cabernet Sauvignon. I don't like Cabernet Franc, <laughs> but I was trying to be accommodating and not raise a big fuss about the wine choice. So we got the Cabernet Franc and it wasn't bad. Still not my favorite, but it wasn't bad. So I guess a really good Cabernet Franc is still pretty decent, but even a a lower quality Cabernet Sauvignon to me is still pretty good. Wow, this is feeling really dry too. Hmm. Hmm. Nope. It's very light. Hmm. Light and not not drippy. No drips. Okay. Who is next? This is Tropical Green. 
Hmm. They had several different greens. In fact, these are not all of the colors that Sitz Cruise Knox offers. So, uh oh. So if you're liking any of these inks, or if you're wishing there was a different color, they probably have it. Because they, um, they had some other blues and other greens, and I think there was an orange, and just all kinds of stuff. So if you're interested in these at all, definitely check out the website. And, you know, they had housewares and clothing and everything else you can possibly think of. So, very interesting website. But I was only there for the ink, so <laughs> I just focused on the ink. But so far, I'm enjoying them. Of course, the real test is getting them in a pen. Cruise knock. What a fun word to say. And this is tropical green and it feels like it is flowing off the glass nib much more easily than the last two inks did so i think we are going to get a very wet swab out of this nope <laughs> it's not feeling very wet well, that's interesting. It flowed off the glass nib so well, but it's not flowing off this Q-tip very well. Hmm. Oof. It's squeaking. Yeah, and it's not even saturating the paper. Oh my goodness. So weird. I think we have another non-dripper. We're going to get some blobs, and that's going to be about it. Wow. Well, it felt nice on the glass nib. So again, the real test is putting it in a pen. And that's a very nice color. Kind of a grass green. So yeah, gotta try this one out. Gotta write with it and see how it does. Hmm, am I missing one? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, I guess not. I thought I had a, a brown one. Uh-oh. Well, no. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'm imagining things. Gosh. Well, if another bottle turns up, I'll be sure to swatch it for you. This is Dark Orchid. I think this might have been the one that um, I saw on Chris Sines' channel because it's like um, dark lilac. Everybody's always chasing dark lilac. Hmm, I wonder if this is like their version of dark lilac. Hmm. And this is a made in Austria bottled in Germany ink. So I don't think Lamy smuggled some out and is selling it on a website under a different name. Cruise knock. Sorry, I can't help but keep saying that because it's so much fun. Dark Orchid. Ooh, and the name sounds very beautiful. Oh, ink names are so much fun. Just like paint names and color names, crayon names. They just have the best names. Color words are so evocative. They, they really help us Sometimes they really help us envision colors. And then sometimes the name doesn't go with the color at all. And you think, how did they come up with this name? So you never know. Hmm, now this one's feeling wetter. It's gliding much better. It's looking really light though. But I think the um, Pacific Blue so far was the flowiest one. Yeah, I ain't getting no drip out of this one. And I re-dipped the Q-tip. Nope. Okay, still very pretty though. I like that. It's looking a bit lighter in person than it does on the camera. On the camera, it looks more magenta, but in person, it's looking much more lavender, lavender purple but we will see how he dries. All right, 
And the last one is Blue Lagoon. And I, again, thought this name was very interesting because there is the Diamine Ink Aqua Lagoon. So I don't know how closely it compares. Let me see. And this one is made in Germany. It's flowing very well. Feels very nice. And it is Blue Lagoon. Oops. Hmm. It's looking very green. I don't know if I would have called this Blue Lagoon. And this one is feeling wetter, more like the first ink. It's definitely saturating the paper better. So I suspect we shall get a drip. Yep. Oh, I guess you guys can't see. And we have a drip. All right. So those were my Sitz Kruznock, Sitz Kruznock inks, and they do have other inks on their website. I mean, they sell lots of different things. They sell other brands of inks too, but these, these are their brand of inks, and they have other inks in their line of inks, if that makes sense. There, there are other Sitz Kruznock inks besides these. And you might have heard of some Diamine German exclusive inks. And they had them on the Sitz Kruznock website, so of course I had to get them. So I got Communication Breakdown, and I got Skull and Roses, and they had little bottles of those. And they only had a big bottle of Bloody Absinthe, so, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound. So I got the big bottle. So, uh, yeah, samples for everybody, because this is what, like 80 mils? Yeah, this is 80 milliliters. So lots of ink to go around. Now these inks are part of a, I don't know what you call it, but they're, they're based on songs. So Communication Breakdown is a Led Zeppelin song. Oh, not Skull and Roses. That's not part of this. Um, but it's Communication Breakdown, Purple Rain, which is a Prince song, November Rain, which is a Guns N' Roses song. And there's one other one, I think. I can't remember the name of it. And then Skull and Roses is just a heavy sheener. So let's see what these guys look like. And I got um, November Rain from Amazon of all places, but the seller was in Germany. Ooh, and this is very wet. and roses and I always make my little and sign like a, a funky plus I can't do that little like curly Q like they have on the bottle that little the ampersand I don't know how to make an ampersand I think they're very cool but I can't make one I mean I've tried to make them and they just look weird so what kind of symbol do you use to signify and? My little plus sign. It's, it's ugly but functional, and that's okay. Let me see. It's looking very blue in the bottle. Can you see that? Not very well. But I hear the sheen on this is crazy. So we'll see. It's feeling very wet. And you know, sheen is not my favorite ink quality, but it can be fun. 
So I thought having a little bottle of this wild sheener might be fun. And I've also heard you can tone down the sheen sometimes by adding a little water. Somebody recommended that to me for um, Organic Studio Nitrogen, which I have not yet tried. So this one might be a good one to try that with too. But we'll see what his, his sheen looks like in a minute. But the blue in the bottle looks very pretty. And that is a nice dark blue. I like the color very much. Okay, this one is Communication Breakdown. I wonder how they picked the songs that they made inks from, or, you know, that they based the inks on. I would not say that Communication Breakdown is my favorite Led Zeppelin song. Let's see. Diamond. And it doesn't feel like the camera is shaking quite as much with this new camera rig as it did with the other one. I mean, the other one's broken, so it's just not ideal, but one works with what one has. So anyway, Led Zeppelin, I love Led Zeppelin. And if I had to pick a favorite song, gosh, it would probably be a tie between Cashmere and When the Levee Breaks. Those are great songs, and I also love The Ocean. I love a bunch of them, but those are probably my top three. Ooh, I was thinking this was red, but it's like, it's like orange. Very interesting. I mean, the writing kind of looks brown, but, um, well, I'm holding it up like this and it looks red and like this, it looks more orange. Wow. That is really crazy. Hmm. Okay. Well, we will set him aside to dry a little bit. And now for our final ink. Bloody absinthe. Sounds very dark and mysterious. Okay. Ooh, and this is a mighty full bottle. We always talk about Noodler's bottles being full. This is nearly Noodler, nearly Noodler's full. He is right up there at the top. All right, Diamond. Bloody absinthe. I really don't understand the attraction in absinthe. Wasn't it made from like wood mold or wood rot or something? Although I'm sure a lot of a lot of things are made from the nasty parts of the natural world. <laughs> so I don't know. It just sounds weird. Didn't it, didn't it make you go crazy or something? I can't remember. But I think the modern absinthe is not made the same way and will not make you go crazy. Thank goodness. Oh, this one's feeling very wet as well. Hmm. I'm not getting very good coverage, though, and I seem to have a hair. A fuzz on my Q-tip. I need to have a talk with Q-tip, because these Q-tips are hairy. Ooh, can I get a drip? Maybe? A little bit? Whoop. Oh, well, there it goes. My goodness. That was a big drip. All right. Well, it's going to take that one a, a couple of hours to dry at least. <laughs> My goodness. Oof. Okay. So I will put these guys aside to dry. And then we will come back in a few minutes and see how things are looking. Here is Pacific Blue. A nice soft blue with some pretty red sheen around the edges and let me see where's my pelican blue hmm 
I don't think they're quite the same. I think the pelican blue is darker and a tiny bit of sheen, but there's more sheen on this one. So I don't think Pelican has just rebottled their ink for Sitz Cruise Knock. But I still wonder who made these inks. All right, next up is Fancy Diamond, which is a lovely purple. It looks like it has some nice shading, but um, no sheen. Just a nice deep purple. Next up is Beaujolais Red. The writing seems a bit darker, but the, the swatch is very light. It's more like pink. And it's actually still drying a little bit, which is surprising. My goodness. Can you see that it's wet? Not really. It still looks wet. But it doesn't look like sheen. It just looks wet. Hmm. Interesting. Here is Sitz Cruise Knock Tropical Green. Again, his little blobs are still drying. Gosh, I thought I gave these guys plenty of time to dry. And he might have the tiniest hint of sheen around the edges. Just a touch but still a pretty bright green and maybe some shading going on there. All right, here is Sitz Cruise Knock Dark Orchid. And this is still coming up brighter on the camera than it is in person. In person, it's a much softer lavender color. Let me see if I can get it to look right. Nope, it's looking very pink and very bright. But in person, it's a very soft lavender color. Very pretty. And the teeniest little hint of sheen there. Can you see that little hint of green sheen? Just the teeniest bit. So I would not say this is a sheener. Let's see. I'm trying to fit everybody on here. Hmm. Can I squeeze him in too? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Maybe even back a little bit. Oh, sorry, there's my paper towel. That's not very exciting. Here is the Blue Lagoon. Again, there's a hint of sheen around the edge. But I, I would say this is a very soft green. Blue Lagoon. Hmm. No. I, I would not. I would not call this blue. I would not call this any sort of blue. Hmm. I'm not, I'm not able to show you the sheen very well. There's a little touch of it, but not very much. And that was all for the Sitz Cruise Knock inks. And now we've got the diamine. There is Skull and Roses. Again, with some heavy, heavy red sheen. Very pretty. And you can see it on the writing, too, because it's looking kind of purple. So that red sheen is making the blue ink look purple. But I really like that color. I'm going to have to try that in a pen. Hmm. And then here is Communication Breakdown. This is a very interesting ink. It's like red and orange at the same time. And then it has some, some green sheen, which makes it all very interesting. And it had a like a white spot at the bottom, so I was trying to cover up the white spot. So that's why there's a darker area down there. I knew it was going to look funky after I did it, but, you know, I did it. Very interesting. And last but not least is Diamond Bloody Absinthe with some crazy pink sheen. Wow. Very interesting. Hmm. Again, I think this would be a very fun ink to write with. And it's, it's showing up on the writing a little bit. Not too much. But it's a very pretty color. 
All right. Well, those are all of my swatches for today. So I hope you enjoyed this. And um, if you're interested, certainly give um, Sitz Kruznak a, a look. Um, I'm always obsessed with the exclusive inks, so I was just overjoyed when I found out they had those German exclusive inks. But um, but their, their um, in-house inks are very pretty, too, and they have other colors. I can't remember. I, I know there was a chestnut, and I thought I had the chestnut, but it is not here, so I must not have gotten it. But they have some other colors, too. So if you like the looks of these, be sure to check them out. And I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.